Hello children. So you saw outside how we compared a human being myself to the tree. Do you know that that tree I showed you has been there for many years, probably even before I was born and it's still there, still at the same place, just growing and growing and growing. So today I have a folder that I would like to show you. This folder here is the folder of the kingdom vegetalia. Vegetalia means to grow. So we'll be opening it up and seeing the content of the kingdom vegetalia, which is also the plant kingdom. So here we have the kingdom vegetalia. This is an overview. Vegetaria in Latin means to grow. Although animals also grow, the name vegetalia has been applied to plants because they are generally fixed. They have no will of their own, nor do they have feelings or memories of events like we animals or we do. They just grow and grow and grow. Plants are the only living beings which build feeding materials upon which directly or indirectly all living beings depend for their nourishment. They derive the material necessary for the building of the various organs from water and certain salts dissolved in it and from the carbon dioxide which is in the air or in the water. Plants live wherever there is sufficient warmth and moisture. There are plants everywhere, in the oceans, the lakes, the rivers, mountains, rocks and sand. Some of them are able to even live on snow and some of them are able to live in water which is boiling hot. Here on our circle card, we see different plants. We can see this one that has flowers. This one does not have flowers. We see this, which is a mushroom. We see these ones that live in water, different kinds of um, plants in the kingdom vegetalia. Now, the kingdom vegetalia goes further and is sub subdivided into two great divisions. And we have them here. We put this aside and we bring the two great divisions of the kingdom vegetalia. One is the phenerogamy and the cryptogamy. Now, which one looks bigger? Look at this folder and look at this folder. Which is bigger? It is this one, the division phenerogamy. The phenerogamy comes from two Greek words which means visible, that's something we can see, and gamos, which means marriage. This division includes plants which have flowers as well as leaves, roots, and stems. The flowers produce seeds because all plants in this division produces seeds. It has also been called the division of spermophytes or the division of seed plants. Phenerogamy simply means plants that produce flowers and cryptogamy means plants that do not produce flowers. So we can see that the division of the plants that produce flowers are very much and the ones that don't produce flowers is relatively small. So let's start with the big one and see how those plants that produce flowers, let's see how they are divided to know more. So we're opening up our folder and oh, this first one here tells us about flowers. I told you that phenerogamy are plants that produce flowers. These are examples of flowers. These are more examples of flowers. more flowers some here have names that's a daffodil plant flowering plants so these are examples of flowers so what is a flower the flower is the part used by the plant to make seeds from which new plants are made so the flower is the part used by the plant to make seeds from which new plants are made the flower contains a pistil. The pistil contains the ovals. We'll be looking at all these. And the stamens. 
One grain of pollen joins with the oval and from this union, the seed is formed. The pistil generally consists of an ovary containing the ovals. The stigma is the top of the style. We'll look at all of these. It is the usually sticky stigma which receives the grain of pollen. When this come onto the stigma, they travel down a tube to reach the oval. The pollen is carried to the stigma either by the wind or an animal. The type of animal that usually carries pollen is the insect which sucks the sugary nectar of the flower. The flower attracts insects with the help of the corolla. Generally, these are brightly colored to attract insects. The calyx pr protects the other parts of the flower when the flower is still a bud. So, we've seen examples of flowers and what a flower is. We'll return this to our flower folder nicely. Now we open up to see the divisions of flowers again. Another division. So the flowering plants are further divided into the gymnospermy and the angiospermy. Again, one is bigger than the other. Look at the angiospermy. These all produce flowers, but one is bigger. And this is the gymnospermy.